First reading, a reading from the book of Sirach. Now I will recall God's works. What I have seen, I will describe. At God's word were his works brought into being. They do his will as he has ordained for them. As the rising sun is clear to all, so the glory of the Lord fills all his works. Yet even God's holy ones must fail in recounting the wonders of the Lord. Though God has given these, his host, the strength to stand firm before his glory, he plumbs the depths and penetrates the heart, the innermost being he understands. The Most High possesses all knowledge and sees from of old the things that are to come. He makes known the past and the future and reveals the deepest secrets. No understanding does he lack. No single thing escapes him. Perennial is his almighty wisdom. He is from all eternity, one and the same. With nothing added, nothing taken away. No need of a counsellor for him. How beautiful are all his works, even to the spark and fleeting vision. The universe lives and abides forever to meet each need. Each creature is preserved. All of them differ one from another. Yet none of them he has made in vain, for each in turn, as it comes, is good. Can one ever see through their splendor? The Word of God A reading from the Holy Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 10, verses 46 to 52. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage, get up, Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way, your faith has saved you. Immediately, he received his sight and followed him on the way. This is the Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today we commemorate the feast of St. Justin the Martyr, a philosopher, a convert, who refused to offer sacrifice to pagan god and thereby he was killed. Today's Gospel, we see a beautiful story of the healing of blind Bartimaeus, a blind man who cries to Jesus. Jesus. He knows that Jesus is passing by and he says, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The more he cries when people say to, for him to be quiet. But I like the approach of the Bartimaeus. First of all, he knew it was Jesus who is passing by. And secondly, he knew who Jesus was, son of David. And then he asks not to be healed first. He told, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me, pity on me. Today we start a new month, month of June, where we say the month of June is consecrated to the sacred heart of Jesus. Today the gospel is most appropriate today to reflect on this sacred heart. This blind Bartimaeus appeals, appeals for the mercy of God. Have pity on me. And that appeal changed the course of Jesus. Jesus was on his mission, walking, passing along. But that appeal, that cry, that plea for mercy, it made Jesus stop 
and look back at him and ask him to come. And the rest he got healed and he followed Jesus. The mercy of God, he appealed to be merciful. We also as sinners, we pray to God many times to grant our intentions to be our guide and saviour. But how often do we plead for his mercy? Lord Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me. That was one of the oldest prayers of the early church, the Jesus prayer. Lord Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. And those monks of early ages, they used to pray this small prayer in a bead, even before the rosary existed. So let us ask the mercy of God, be at the mercy of God every moment of our lives and ask Jesus to be merciful, to give us his heart so that we may find comfort, we may find consolation in his presence. Amen.